Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. I will show you how to display error message with input fields in Laravel. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started. So I'll be continuing from my previous video. So just go and watch that video if you want to. So I'll just give a quick recap of my previous video. So here you can see I have validated this form and display error is displayed above. So you can see all fields are required and it's showing required error here. So now let me show you quickly code. In code in web.php you can see my base URL is going to contact controller index function and in index function I'm just loading my view that is contact.blade.php so let's go and show you blade file now. In my view, you can see I'm having one form and you can see it's in type multi-part form data as I'm having image as well. And on submit, I'm submitting this form. And uh, you can see the fields input name, input email, input phone and input image. All four fields I'm having and on submit, I'm submit this save contact form that is a script JS function. So in script, you can see this. So in this function, I have taken the form data in that is my contact form and I have created form data using it. Then I have called my Ajax and that is going to be a post request. Then I'm hitting the URL that is save contact form that is going to my store function. So I'll show you later. Then data I'm sending process data and content type false as images there. Then I'm just handling the success and error. So now let me show you store function. So in store function, you can see I have called my request file. And after that, I have just DD my request. Now with contact request, I have created rules for validation. You can see all my input fields and I have given required validation there. So if validation fails, then it's going in error of Ajax. In error you can see I'm getting all the errors and I'm displaying them so I'm just removing previous code and I'm just going to console error and now let's go and browser so let me show you in browser inspect and console now refresh and click on submit now you can see how I'm getting errors so here you can see response JSON and inside that I'm having all errors you can go to network tab and go to API and here you can see the all the errors so now let's go and display all these errors with input field in my previous video I've shown you with like a, a UL and LI display but here I'm going to show you with every input field so for that add a span with every input field and I'm going to give a class let's say text danger because I want it to be in red color that's a bootstrap craft that you can use and one more class I'm going to give is similar to input name so here name is input name and with that I'm going to append underscore error do the same thing for other input field as well so for email write input email error then phone so write input phone error after that input image so input image error so in script we will be displaying our errors in this span so now let me just check the format so you can see in errors I'm getting first as a object inside that I'm getting array so now let's display the errors write one for loop write var and write error in form errors like this I'll be using that span class that I have defined before let's say input name so input name error class I'll be using here so write dollar and inside that for a class we will be using dot and I'm going to concat you can you have seen that as a key I'm getting input name so that I'll be using here and I'm going to append underscore error here and inside that HTML I'm going to pass so that will be form error and inside that pass key error with zero index I'm having my message now let's go so now let's go and check in browser so refresh and click on submit so now you can see we are having error with our input field so here input phone is not having error so let me just check its span okay so there is double i so just let me remove it and now refresh 
and again submit so phone also is having its message so now let me define some more validation rules so with input name let's say minimum three so that it will take minimum three characters after that email let's have it uh, email validation after that phone number so right let's say digits 10 should be there after that input image so it should be have mime type or jpg png jpg so now let's check in browser refresh and now let's write one character only and submit so now you can say input name must be three characters so now let's write a random some text then submit so you can see now error is not removed so for removing error let's go and make some changes so now let's add one more class to all these spans so let's say form errors so let's add this to every input span one and now in error only before for loop add this dollar dot form errors and blank this one let's say html blank i'm going to pass now let's check in browser refresh and let's say name write w if you will click on submit and write now you can see error is removed now let's go so now let's check for another field as well so email you can see as at the rate t.com after that write phone number so let me write four digits only now you can see phone number must be 10 digits so let me write oh, 10 digits exactly now if i'll click on submit so now you can see error is gone let me show you one more time so let me just do it again so write name email after that phone number 10 digits and now if i'll just submit it now submit now you can see form errors are not removed because now all the validation is passed and it's going to success of ajax now there is no error so if i'll show you in network as well and click on submit so let's go so let's see it's printing dd that all request input fields so it's going in success here so for this i'm just going to cut form errors from here and going to paste it above now let's go and check in browser refresh just directly click on submit so here you can see all the errors now let's write name k thrusters email after that phone number now let's upload one file and submit now you can see all the form errors is removed as it's going to a success so in this video i have shown you how you can display your error message with input fields so I hope you like this video. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can display custom error message with input fields. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.